Okay, now to a man that's never one to mention the elephant in the room. Mark, you're showing us. Don't stretch yourself, though, yeah. how to make a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to make a sandwich today, but this is going to be the best ever chorizo sandwich you've ever tasted. And why? You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. But I'm going to tell you, it's got lots of flavour in there, it's got lots of texture in there, and lots of these beautiful, fresh, tasty ingredients. It's going to be great. Come, uh, come back a little bit later, and I'm going to show you all the little tips and secrets. Uh, now it's over to Holly. Thank you very much, Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you're making a sandwich with chorizo, <laughs> but uh, knowing you, it's going to be chefified. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a section of your technical word. <laughs> yeah, <don't> worry, <laughs> what, what we do. No, anyone's giving you a hard time about making a sandwich, but they are in I vogue. Know. At the well, they don't need to eat it. We can just that's eat it ourselves. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. I like this. Okay, let's get. Cracking. No, no. So, 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 I mean, you can make sandwiches at home, and uh, you know, it consists of a bit of white bread, a bit of butter some ham, some cheese, you know, yeah. it's not that exciting. Classic, but not that exciting. So we're just going to mix it up a little bit and we're going to show you what you can achieve with a sandwich. Okay, good. So some nice bread, crusty bread, we'll toast it, make it nice and fluffy, yep. different texture in there. Beautiful chorizo sausages. Yum. So we've got some here. So these are actually raw. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do it with raw ones or you can do it with like hot smoke ones, which are, which are already cooked. Okay. So either way, that's fine. So you can either just cook it in a pan if you want, yep. but what I've just done to these, I've just poached it for about five minutes just in some water. Nice. And that's just going to set the sausage enough for us to slice and then we're going to crisp it up on the griddle pan. Okay, you know, give us a nice texture. Oh, that's a good tip, thank you. Right, and then now, first of all, we're going to get some uh, substance into the uh, sandwich. So we're going to use some chickpeas. <laughs> substance and chickpeas? OK. <laughs> <laughs> no, hang on. Oh, don't, oh, no, don't knock I'll it. Don't you. knock it. Right, so we're just going to warm that up in a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. Give that some good seasoning. So a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to put some lemon zest in there and a bit of juice as well. Okay. And then we're just going to warm them up so they soften. And mm -hmm. then we're just going to puree them down. Yum. You know, just something different. You know, a different alternative to, to putting mayonnaise on there or you know, lots of butter and stuff like that to soften the sandwich. But okay. we still have got mayonnaise in it. And a little bit of lemon zest as well, so that'll give us a nice zing. Never thought to put chickpeas in a sandwich, but you do it this way, you're going to get some substance. <laughs> there you go. So, just keep it on a low heat. We don't, we're not going to colour it or anything. We just want to sort of soften it. Uh, so you can do it on a really low heat. And what? that lemon zest obviously infuses into the chickpeas. Yeah, nice yeah. So, so yeah. it's going to give you, it's going to give you some richness, and it's going to cut through with that lemon zest. Right, and then we're going to do a nice little uh, concasse or a, a dice of tomato. So okay. get your tomatoes, cut them into quarters, and then you want to de-seed them. So all we're doing is just taking the seeds out, and then you're left with these beautiful tomato pet petals there. Okay. And then we're just going to dice them up. That stops your sandwich from going soggy too, doesn't it? Well, yeah, you're taking a little bit of the extra uh, liquid out, but we're going to mix this through the chickpea mix after. Oh, you know? yeah. So we've still got some texture in there and some freshness, you know? Okay, nice. What else do you need me to do? Just keep an eye on your chickpeas? Yeah, yeah, just down there look pretty. Yeah. Sunny, sunny sandwich. Okay, nice. <laughs> right, and then we've got griddle pan on here. Yeah. Where we, so we're going to... Um, we're going to do the, uh, the chorizo on there. And we've got a little bit of chilli as well, so a nice little bit of heat. And we're just going to pop all that in a bowl. Is it the chilli and tomato together? Yeah, chilli yep. and tomato together. A little bit of olive oil as well, and then we'll puree this up. So we'll puree that up in a minute, and then yep. we'll mix that through. OK. Um, and then all we've got to do now is just fry the chorizo off. You want to do that sort of the, uh, towards the end, because you're going to uh, have it nice and hot mm. and crispy. And then we've got uh, an egg as well. And to make it special, we're going to fry it in duck fat. Brilliant. OK, yeah, yeah I'm looking forward <laughs> to that. And now, Mark, you got to show us uh, how to do all this, and we're going to see the second part of it very soon, straight after we catch up with Holly. Now, though, we need to finish off the sandwich, and I've just been mashing up uh, our chickpeas and our lemon zest here. And you put a bit of oil in that as well, just to give it some nice texture. How's it looking, Shane? Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's what yep. we want now. Cool. You can, you can do it in a, in a blender if you want, if you want it really smooth. But, I mean, they're quite soft, so it's easy enough to just do with nice. uh, by hand like that. So that's great. Um, we can mix the tomatoes and chilli through there okay. and then give it a good uh, taste. Right, I'm just going to get some uh, duck fat melted now for the uh, fried egg. So we want to... We, don't want to get this pan too hot for the uh, fried egg, okay? Because mm -hmm. there's nothing worse than those crispy bits. I don't like all that. You know, just want it set, so nice and white. We like crispy. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, that's good. Using the duck fat, gonna give it a nice flavour. I'm just gonna grab a spoon. Definitely. Oh, I'm just debating, though. You yeah. may have seen that look of panic on my face just then. Yeah, what did you do? No, no, nothing. <laughs> but do I mix this into that or that into this? You can mix the tomatoes into your chickpea. Oh, okay, cool. 
Awesome. Right, so I'm just going to uh, slice this chorizo as well. So you can see with the poaching, it's just set the sausage enough to give us some nice shapes. It's still raw if you're going to use the raw sausage, which is fine, because we are going to cook it now on the griddle. Right, so the poaching of them just means, means that they're not going to split open when you... Yeah, yeah, it just, just gives you a nice shape. OK, so we can get that on there. But you can use the hot smoked ones as well, which you can buy. So they're already pre-cooked. So just slice them and get them straight on. And it's just, you know, you're going to get the crispy bits here. Right, fried egg. Oh, yeah, fried so egg. Pop it in. So we've got a little bit of heat in there, so the white's setting. And then we can pop it back on. There's a little bit of uh, bubbles. But you just want to keep controlling that heat so you get a beautiful, perfect um, set white bit. And yeah. then it's nice and runny yolk. They can be tricky eggs to get yeah. right. A little bit of pepper on there. All about the temperature. That's it. And that's, that's, so that's just cooking away. So we'll just control it. Just a really slow heat. How's that tasting? Mm, good. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Yeah, converted to chickpeas. I think I am, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. you're right. <laughs> well, and then we've just got a little, uh, just a really quick basil mayo. So just some fresh basil. I mean, we're just going to chop it up and then just some, some mayo. Uh, taste a little bit of uh, salt if you want. Mm. And some lemon juice as well, just to sharpen it up. I love the smell of basil. OK, oh, and how, how well are you going to do this egg? How, so it's nice and runny. You want so it runny? Not, not, not uh, over easy and all that sort okay. of like, um, rubbish. Right, OK. Just uh, <laughs> a good... Fried egg. Okay, good in duck fat egg. With pepper. So I'm not going to put any salt on here. Um, I don't think you need to put uh, salt on eggs, or especially fried eggs. Why little, don't you need to put bit. salt on it? Well, I don't know. I just I, I do in scrambled eggs and other eggs, yeah. but I, with fried eggs, I just like pepper on there. Okay, fair yeah, enough. I don't know. Well, the duck fat probably helps with the flavour. Oh, it? definitely, definitely. Well, so you just get a nice bit of colour on there. Flip them over. Obviously, yep. make sure it's cooked if you're using those. We'll get them nice and crispy. A uh, little bit of mayo in here. Yeah. So you got your basil, your mayonnaise. Yeah. But it's quite nice. Just put a little bit of mayo and yep. put a lot more basil in there. You know, so get it really strong, so it's really fresh with the flavour. Smells great. Anything else a little you can put pepper, on that mix? Pepper. A little bit of lemon, and then just give it a mix up. Nice. So it's, so it's all about just, uh, you know, getting the flavours. Make sure you get all the flavours and seasoning every single component, and then we'll add them all together, build it, and then it will be the best chorizo sandwich you've okay. ever tasted. OK, you will show us how to build that a little later on. Can't wait to taste this. It smells incredible. Now to Mark, he regularly puts his hands up in the air and it's usually at my attempts at cooking. But anyway, how's your sandwich looking, Mark? <laughs> oh, it's looking fantastic. So I'm just going to show you how to build it. So we toasted the sourdough. We've got the uh, chickpea mix on there. And then we've got a layer of the chorizo, the crispy chorizo. Little bit of uh, some lettuce leaves there. Little bit of parmesan. Touch more chilli. Pop your egg on there. And then the top, you've got that basil mayonnaise. Spread it over. Pop it on. Look at that. That is the best butty yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Wow. What are you doing on Monday? Well, on Monday, I've got salmon on the menu, and we're making some herb quinola. That's a fancy bacon. <laughs> <laughs>